Welcome to the All Things Fun Vidcast. I'm your host, Ed Evans. I'm here with my co-host, Allison Eckel and Glenn Walker. <laughs> His gang sign. Welcome back, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here today to talk about books we that really you so much. Yes. <laughs> I was on a beach somewhere, so I can't say that I really I miss you guys, you, but I all. always miss you guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here to talk about books that released today, uh, Wednesday, September 5th, 2012. Before we jump in, guys, just a quick reminder to everybody out there, so exciting. This weekend, this Saturday, All Things Fun celebrates its 8th anniversary. Sweet. With a uh, super That's sale and celebration. Sign, some people on the world. Eight. Okay. Really? Eight. Yeah, backwards. Anyway, you know, eight. Sorry, I'm sorry. Way eight. too much. Here we go. Yeah. Stop. So be sure to come out on Saturday, <laughs> September 8th, 2012. Help us celebrate our eighth birthday. Uh, see, what do we got going on? All kinds of crazy stuff. The first ten people online are going to get a free copy of X Men Ghost Box, the hardcover. It's a third wow. hardcover. For free. Nice. Uh, we're going to have birthday goodie bags while supplies last. Everybody comes in and gets a cool goodie bag. Goody Just like bags. when you were a kid and you went to a birthday Woo-hoo. party and gave you a little bag. Nice. Same come kind of costume. thing. Come in costume. That's always fun. Are you going to have uh, any special guests? Not this year. Okay. I would be here. Well, hmm? yes. Oh, what? My bad. That's Batman. A, I was fishing for that. Fishing I didn't for want to just say, nice. will we, will we Batman? see Batman? <laughs> yes. Batman will be here at noon. He, is he going to talk like this? Like Batman. <laughs> Batman. He's Batman. He'll talk however Batman talks. Batman talks like this. He won't talk much because during the daytime, Batman doesn't talk a he lot. He really doesn't. Yeah, no. no. He's not a big talker. <laughs> uh, so bring everything, out the kids for photos. That's right. Bring out the kids. They'll be here at noon. And everything in the store will be on sale. Everything. Just give you some ideas. you got 50% off comics. you got 40% off graphic novels. 20 wow. to 60% off of games. Wow. Everything's on sale. So again, come on out Saturday, 9, 8. Doors open at 10 a.m. Do not miss it. But enough of that. We've got DC Zeros. This week. Zeros. Is this an offensive thing? Oh. <laughs> is this Glenn? We're going to have to give you a seminar on, on well, hand gestures the world over signs. and which ones are offensive. Apparently the Army gave us a all. seminar on that when we moved to Germany about like what <clears> to do and what not to do with your hands. And like the number eight go. apparently means <laughs> something really well. bad. <laughs> okay, anyway, DC Comics. Zero month starts now. We're a year into the new 52, so we're going to put on the brakes back up a little bit and we have a whole month of z- zero numbered books that are um, origins before the new 52 and is what years, they actually right? say. Yeah, the origins yeah. or early year stories and they all say DC Comics probably presents before the new 52 dun, dun, dun. In, in all of them. So uh, you have a billion. <laughs> well, you've got the mainstream stuff. I've got the oddities. So why don't you go first? <laughs> okay. I have Action Comics Zero. Of course, this is the big, the big tentpole. Maybe. Um, so a nice quiet story about uh, Clark and when he first got to Metropolis and what he was doing. Yes, he's in jeans again. You know, back to that. Before the suit, it's a, it's a great little story about the cape, actually, and about meeting Lois and Jimmy and a little bit of Jimmy's background. I loved this story. It was really? Great. Yeah, I did. I really liked it. Uh, Grant Morrison, some goodness, and some images that we've seen before in other comics in the past. You, you've harkened back to a story, Superman The Secret Years, from yes. 1982. Yeah, I yeah. called that. I couldn't remember what it was, but I was like, wait, Glenn, I have I have this image on a cover in my collection. What is it from? And he was like, I'll tell you. So anyway, um, some really good little nuggets and, and Easter eggs and action comics zero. Awesome. So what else do I have? I have Bat Cave. I have two from the Bat Cave. We've got Detective, Detective Comics, the other big one, zero. This is um, some some training image um, images from when uh, sorry Bruce went to Tibet to learn some of his skill set that, uh, that he'll use as Batman. So early in his training, we have a story um, of uh, getting close to people again after losing his parents and training and what that does for him and great training montages in Tibet. I've got a pseudo Batcave thing. Okay. I've got Earth Two which concentrates on the early years of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Mr. Eight, who we might know as the original Mr. Terrific. Also Robin and Supergirl in here. <sighs> <laughs> I loved Action <clears throat> Comics, and he was like, I like, I, was I, liked, I liked the story a lot. I did not like what happened in it, but uh-huh. we will have to wait and see to see if it's really as bad as I think it is. <laughs> this one, Huntress and Power Girl, the origins of Robin and Supergirl. Really dug this. Kevin McGuire art. It's terrific. Nice. 
You've got more bats. I do have more bats. I have bat wing zero. Some more stories from um, when he was little growing up in the soldier army in Africa. And, and there's people, like demon people with horns and red eyes. So that's not something that you find in a soldier army in Africa, but um, soldier army, child army in Africa. But Have you been in the army as a child in Africa? Uh, no. But okay. How do you know? So, you know, the AP may not be taking pictures of the people with horns and red eyes in Maybe Africa. Maybe they can't be photographed. Maybe it's a new thing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they can't be photographed. Uh, also, are we done in the Batcave? Done in the Batcave, yeah. Okay, also in your um, mainstream DC titles, we have Green Arrow Zero. Some, we all know the story, they even did the story in Iron Man movie, of the, the, the wealthy pampered guy, and then something happens, a big bad thing with, with, uh, with big blow-ups, and he's stranded in the middle of nowhere, and he comes back with a vengeance. We've got that, too. If nothing too new under the sun here, a few new characters. What was interesting for me is that the cover says it's written by one person, but the inside says it's written by somebody else. So I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. That's what I took away from it. And, the, and you know, I got nothing wrong with this page. <laughs> Absolutely nothing wrong. Who, who's, who's doing the art on there? <laughs> I don't know. But like, don't use the cover. Use the inside. <laughs> yeah, right, right? Because the, the inside was wrong. Um, like reverse Freddie the Williams II oh, is the okay. penciler. Yeah. And Rob Hunter's the anchor, so, so that Came was all right. from uh, Batwoman, right? I, yes. I don't read yes. Batwoman. Ed knew that one. Well, okay, right. so obviously it was a different <laughs> colorer because Batwoman has no, no color. <laughs> and Ed's got another green title there. Yes, you have another green from the mainstream. Well, I do, I do. Uh, although this is, unlike the other books, this is not really, it's Green Lantern, Zero. It's not really a tale from the past, although it starts in the past. But this is the, uh, this is the origin of the new lantern we've been hearing about. Mm -hmm. Kind of tells you where he came from, what's going on, where he's got his issues, and what's going on. Now, if you've if you've read the annual last month, uh, well, actually just a few weeks ago, you get an idea that there's some crazy stuff going on in the Green Lantern universe. We've got some Green Lanterns are MIA, and we've got some rings that are on their own. And this kind of answers those questions and gets things rolling. And unfortunately, asks new questions. So check it out. Uh, it's the it's ties into even though it doesn't say it. This is definitely set up for the third army as well. Right. Oh, None right. of these are. Although they're good jumping on points for the characters, they're not done in one stories. They all lead into, by the end, either that story or a backup story is leading you into where it's going to go next. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of green and leading into other stories, I have Swamp Thing number zero. What? It is a retelling of Swamp Thing's origin, things we didn't know before. It's not what you think. We've got some clues about Arcane. We've got some clues about the red here. Speaking of the red, We've got the crazy, new, wacky, secret origin of Animal Man. Again, not what you think. Wow. Terrific stuff from Jeff Lemire. I've got Phantom Stranger, number zero, by Dan Didio, the man himself at DC. Um, this is one of the new titles. Yes. This is one of the new titles. We'll have a number one next month. Yep. This continues from the free comic book day issue we had from DC. All right. Story <laughs> continuing from the question and Pandora that and was so long Stranger. Ago. The Trinity, the new Trinity. Yes, and we also have the new right, origin right, right. of the Spectre first. Ah, cool. New 52 appearance there. Pandora is that lady in the hood that we saw in all the, in all the number last ones, year yeah. in all the number ones, right? Yeah. And that's going to be coming to a head in Justice League coming that's out. That's correct. Mm. I have dial H number zero. We get to see some of the past users of the H dial. That's cool. Stormwatch, number zero. This is almost a history of the new 52 DCU. Cool. You got Demon Knights in here. You got the history of Stormwatch. Lots oh, of goodies so the, in here. They teased that last year that they were somehow connected. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to bring that back around. And it's bringing it forward, coming up with Stormwatch's battle with the Demon in the present day. I've got GI Combat number zero. Another of the new books. Uh, this one's in progress up to issue two or three. This is the new secret origin of the new unknown soldier. We also have a War the Time Forgot back up in there. The last known soldier. Awesome. Well, it's a, it's a different, totally different character from we know what we know before the new 52. Nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can I? Okay. Outside of the new 52, also DC Comics, we have Smallville season 11, number five. This has been getting great reviews. People are really enjoying what's going on here. We have a lot of guests coming in here. Now that they don't have to pay the actors to do it, they can bring in all kinds of guests 
from the team around the DCU, this looks like somebody in a bat costume on the cover here. Good stuff there from Smallville. Brian Q. Miller, goodness. Um, ready for this? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, also, Vertigo, speaking of DC Comics, we have Ferris with a really bloody cover, <laughs> number seven. I haven't opened this one yet to see what this is going to be about, but if you've been following Ferris, then you're already really excited for this because these are from the pages of Fables and they're always awesome. Okay, cool. Who else? Yeah. Okay, I've got Before Watchmen, Silk Spectre, number three. Not for kids, okay? All the sex, drugs, and rock and roll you ever wanted in a comic book is in this <laughs> issue. Okay. Thanks into Marvel, sir. Into Marvel? Yeah. Well, let's go with what everyone's talking about at Marvel. Amazing Spider-Man 693, featuring Spider-Man's new sidekick, Alpha. His official introduction here, leading up to the big number 700 issue. I've got um, Hawkeye. My favorite book from last month, number one. This is number two. And I've got Defenders, number 10, which will be ending with number 12 coming up. These books, uh, I think, are really special because I heard an interview with Matt Fraction this weekend where he's talking about how they were written in the Marvel style, which is the writer and the artist get together, they plot the book, the artist goes and does the book, hands it back to the writer who fills in the captions and the word balloons. And uh, it's a very interesting way to collaborate. And these books are proof that this really works. Great stuff. That's good. I was afraid it was going to be like, you know, they announce it, don't do it, run it late. No, no. Um, <laughs> he, he wanted to try it as an experiment. And it seems to have worked. Uh, speaking of books by Fraction that are not done Marvel Method, we have the next part of Everything Burns in Thor. And part four of the future, Invincible Iron Man, both by Fraction, both terrific books. I love how this looks like one of my archery manuals. I'll cover here. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. Do you have any Marvel? Right? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so. I do. We've got uh, <laughs> the Ultimate Universe, Ultimate Comics, All New Spider Man, issue 14. This is part two of the Spider Man Divided We Fall arc, which is cool. So Spidey and Captain America are getting together. You've got. Um, Punisher, Ruckus Run on Punisher, this is issue 15, continues. And let's see here, let's let's go with this. We've got Avengers Academy, so if you're reading this, uh, this will be coming to an end soon. This is Final Exam, part 3 of 4, this has been a great arc, definitely going on, on top, issue 36. Dinosaurs. What do you have over there, sir? What do I got? I have, you have any Marvels? I have one. Oh, okay. Just checking. Mm -hmm. I have Dark Avengers 180. The problem with time travel is every once in a while you screw up the past and it messes up the future and the present. Hate that. That's what the Dark Avengers do. They create something called the Cataclysm. I'm not sure how much of an impact it's going to make in the Marvel Universe, but it sure is messing with the Thunderbolts. It's called the Cataclysm. It can't be good, right? can't be good. <laughs> well, it's called the Oops. The Oops. The My Bad. I've got Venom. Number 24, Flash Thompson version. Uh, word is he's going to be moving to Philadelphia. We're finally going to get some uh, play in the Marvel Universe. Nice. I've got Deadpool going after every character in the Marvel Universe with Black in his name. Black Tom, Black Box, Black List. He's going after them all. And also there's the, what, what's his name? Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey is in this book. <laughs> Excellent. Dude. There Excellent. We Hit go. Monkey. We had to have one crazy name. I've got a couple X books. I've got Peter David's X Factor number 243, Spotlight on Polaris, my favorite interim X Men between the originals and the new X Men. And we also got First X Men number two. These are the first, first X Men. Before Just Xavier. We needed one more X title. One of these, are, these are led by Wolverine and Sabretooth. These are before Xavier started school, and this is their first encounter with Magneto. Good stuff from Neil Adams and Christos Gage. Nice. Oh, also in the X Universe, from the pages of Uncanny X Force, you've got Age of Apocalypse 7, playing with Doom. And they're bringing it back because everybody's so curious about Thanos. Uh, uh, Thanos Quest One Shot, 7.99. This uh, follows Thanos 
and his quest to collect the Infinity Gems. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so it goes against everybody. And we, we saw Thanos at the end of Avengers, and we saw the Infinity Gauntlet in Thor. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. So it's coming. You said you had a Marvel? I have one Marvel. That Marvel. Yes, I do. Um, this is an all-ages Marvel, actually. It's um, Road to Oz, limited series one of six. This is totally charming. It's awesome. It's just a, it's a cute travel. It looks like the Oz story that we know of Dorothy and the, the different friends she finds along the way to Oz, but it's a little different. It's completely charming and lovely artwork. Pick it up. One of six. Right. The rest of I, the rest of what I have is not for kids. <laughs> not for kids. Not, not for kids. kids. All right. So let's hit indies. Um, this is fun. Image, Spawn issue two twenty three. Spawn of the Dead. Are they rifting on Walking Dead? Yes. This is excellent. This is a uh, parody of issue one of Walking Dead. That's excellent. Spawn two twenty three. Spawn of the Dead. You've also got from IDW this week The Crow issue three. Oh, crow, crow, crow. A little different, but yes. Corn. <laughs> Corn. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Wow. All right, you got some turtles this action. That one hurt. <laughs> it's a little messed up. Teach me the turtles okay, micro series. Up for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Issue eight. There you go. Check that out. The micro series. You've got uh, Eastman Lair's Turtles number four classics brought back in color. Color versions of the original stuff. Nice Neat stuff. World of Transformers, you've got the Robots in Disguise series, number nine. Awesome. Awesome. And, uh-oh, talk about that. And Transformers Regeneration 1, issue 83, comes out this week. And, of course, what's the big thing that IDW is pushing? You'll be very excited. Yeah. The magic of friendship is coming. Uh -huh. Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. Yay. Pony, pony. Pony no. lovers and bronies out there. How much yeah. did they know why you actually know some bronies? And they don't actually say it anywhere on that cool cover, but it's coming. But we know. We yes, know. we do know. A brony in my house just came up behind the camera to see what we're holding. I am not a brony. <laughs> you got uh, I'm from not Dynamite. A brony. Dude, you're a brony? Nice. I am not a oh, brony. Way to call him out on camera. Damsels <laughs> Volume 1. There I've heard go. that's very good. From Dynamite. It really is. It's not the, the softcore porn it used to be. Nights at the dinner table. <laughs> Should keep moving. Issue 190, August 599. Check it out. All right. I got a couple of indies. I go have an IDW. It. Okay. Go ahead. Either one. No, go, go ahead. ahead. I have New Crusaders: Rise of the Swear Heroes right from <laughs> Archie. Officially Red Circle. This is a book that was on digital first, and now it's first time in print. Uh, the Crusaders, you may remember, a superhero group made of the Archie characters. In this version, years and years ago, they saved the Earth, made it a better place to live, and now things are starting to fall apart and their children have to take up the mantle. Cool. That sounds cool. I've got Guarding the Globe. This is number one of the ongoing. You've got uh, the new the new Invincible, which was surprised being also Brit and the other characters from this group. Yeah, takes place so in I guess the current the, timeline. The new Invincible is hanging around a little bit, I guess. For now, yeah, it's at Kirkman's universe and it takes place in the current timeline. I've got The Boys, number 70. This is, uh, I believe, part five of Bloody Doors Off. This ends in two issues. It is getting very tense. We're finally seeing a showdown between Huey and Butcher. Bad, bad stuff is coming. Have any more in this? You want to go? Take some? Yeah, I have a go whole for bunch. It. Uh, back from IDW, Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms, number three. These are always a fun ride. Um, Army of Darkness. This is not um, Danger Girl Army of Darkness. This is just Army of Darkness. Where there just was the chin. Just, just the, the chin. chin. There yeah. was a girl also, and they got separated. He'll recount that for you. And this one, he got separated and they're lost in the time stream. Looks like he might be in 70s Japan. A lot of swords, maybe a few bell bottoms and heel boots. Good times. And there's a van in there. It's like a Scooby Doo van. Um, we have Valiant, Archer, and Armstrong number two. This is the the reboot of the older title, mm -hmm. right? What do you think of it this time? I don't know. It's an odd. <laughs> oh, man. It's an odd couple, which is which can work. You know, there's uh, the Ar Archer is a straight laced, you know, brought up raised to be a good kid, but he's um, dangerous, and the other guy is you know big, slovenly bear of a man. 
but you, you know, they discovered a secret sect in league with Wall Street cult of devil wor worshippers called the One Percent. That's a little on the nose, isn't it? Okay. I, th that part I find a little like really. Do you well, have to call them the One Percent and they're devil worshippers? Really? How about we go, go with there? a? How about we go to value book that's actually a little too topical. A little better, or a little less topical. I've got yeah. Bloodshot number three. Bloodshot in action, taking out a nuclear weapon in this one. Uh, there's also a very cool preview of what's coming up in Harbinger. One of my favorite characters from the original is being introduced, Zephyr. Cool. You get to see the new version there. Yeah, all these are um, Xenoscope. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we have, the, we have to cover everybody else has done at some point in their lives. The whole trashing the costumes, walking done away. Done in Spider-Man before it was done in JLI. Yeah, but was he in prison? <laughs> and Titans did it. Well, all right, it's in prison. So it's just maybe being forced to hang up the, what is this, the our um, glasses and Snow White, maybe not quite. But I like that it's, you know, girls in jail. It's nice if you got to give up the Yeah, she's costume. not quite fully covered because she's still got... I'm really surprised that Cinescope would go there, girls in jail. There might be a story there. There's always a story there. The, <laughs> the, the cover, you cannot judge the Cinescope got, books what, by the cover. Wonderland, They're actually very good. number two. What's this one? Myths and Legends, number 20. This one's, yeah, there you go. Here's one about boys. This one's uh, Irresistible, number irresistible, two. Yeah. So here's a guy being chased by a whole bunch of girls. I hear good things. I hear and good he has things. a shirt on. So how is that equal? Well, True Blood is over on HBO, but if you want more of it, you have IDW True Blood number four. These are telling tales of what happened the night the vampires came out to the world. Came out of the coffin, as they say in the cool. books. Right. I've got Lady Death number 21 from Brian Polito and Mike Wolfer. How's that, how's that stay on her body while she's jumping like that? She looks cold. <laughs> I remember Take Mike Wolfer from fashion. years ago doing Daikazu. It's one of my favorite Bless you. Yeah. Speaking of weird words. And I've got uh, Flash Gordon. How do you say that word? Zeitgeist. There Zeitgeist. Uh, I haven't been following this, but I read this issue. Thank you, Ed. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool pulp action, true to the original Flash Gordon stuff. Great, great stuff in this book. Excellent. Awesome. All right. That we're running out of time, but let's yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some books here. Well, first, let's check out cool Spidey. mugs. And who? Cool <laughs> Spider Man mug. Cool Doctor yeah, Who mug. Where it's, it's, it's bigger inside. on the inside. I hear that a lot. Angry Birds, cool cut keychains. Ha ha ha. There's some sunshine. Uh, Way cool Deadpool keychain. Nice. This Deadpool logo. I thought it was sorry, hit monkey too thin. <laughs> no. Deadpool. Cool baseball cap. And oh, that's cool. It's like a Tokodoki Spider Man. That's exactly what that is. That is it. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Chokadoki. Tokodoki. When he says it, he makes it sound like Chokodoki. You're on the vidcast, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, he's not watching. Uh, we've got uh, Journey to Mystery, Fear Itself, and Trade Paper out this week. Awesome. Hulk Smash Avengers, the whole collection. I love that. That was awesome. Uh, New 52, the Teen Titans in paperback collection. This Colin. is the first seven like issues. Uh, just before the calling, yeah. Before the calling. Uh, let's see. We've got, uh, if you're a follower of the Nights of the Dinner Table, Bundle of Trouble, Volume 38. Long-running collection of uh, gaming comics. Avengers Prelude, this collects the Black Widow Strike series that came out just as the Avengers movie was in the uh, theaters. Now nice just Scar Joe cover. Yeah, Scar Joe cover. Thunderbolts, Fear Itself, Trade Paper. A school from Kirkman, Thing of, uh, Thief of Thieves, Volume 1, I Quit. That didn't work out so well for him. Mm -hmm. Stephen King's The Stand, Hard Cases, Paperback. Grim Fairy Tales, Volume 12, don't need to say any more. Green Lantern, War of the Green Lanterns, collecting the crossover. They're always fighting. They are. Ah, uh, here it is, in hardcover, Hard for your back. Aquaman fans, The Trench. This is the first, uh, what, six issues of Aquaman, collected in hardcover. Awesome. 52. You've got some cool hats out this week. It's furry. There you go. And you've got some manga as well. Yeah. New World One Piece, volume 64. We've got the Earl and the Fairy. He's like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> You're no fun. Six. I'm no fun. Uh, Bleach, fine. Four you everything got quieter. You look <laughs> perfect for Glenn. It's the bride. I'm no fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is really 14. blocking of a lot of sound. <laughs> Bleach Find 47. Don't okay. wear it while walking down the street. No, bad idea. So stay tuned. We're going to have a kid's uh, eye uh, view. <laughs> <laughs> uh, podcast right after this. Otherwise, uh, hit our website. Lots of stuff at a time. Allthingsfun.net for more details about our big event this weekend and what comes out this week. See you next time.